Hey guys, it's Pokey Dude here with Misaki, and welcome to Kagetsu Toya. I guess we can uh, start by reading this message here. You want to do it, Misaki? <laughs> Thank you for purchasing Kagetsu Toya. Kagetsu Toya is a game which you play many times, increasing the number of choices in order to get to the end. Don't just try to win, but try experimenting with the choices. Depending on your progress in the game, you will unlock special graphics or side stories. This game is a bit more complicated than Tsukihime. So those of you who lack confidence, please use the help. Please use the help feature in, in the top right corner. <laughs> when at the end of the day, repeat again is shown. The game state is automatically saved. Just start a new game and keep playing. There is no need to use the save or load functions, but please use them if you have to quit in the middle of playing. Hmm. Are they expecting you to play it <laughs> in one go? Well, I, I think like the individuals because it auto saves. Um, it's just continue from where you left off. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Then let the, and um, then let's begin the festival. <laughs> Let me check the options here real quick. Uh, game settings. Uh, I guess skip parts previously read. Skip explicit sexual content. Nah. <laughs> Well, uh, before we start, I just wanted to say, uh, I started uh, watching the Tsukihime anime adaptation. <laughs> um, so, uh, in the past, whenever I've seen people ask about it, the response they would get is, there is no Tsukihime anime. <laughs> and uh, after watching a few episodes of it, I'm inclined to agree. There's so many baffling choices made to it, that it's hard to even call it an adaptation. <laughs> Like just as like one small example. Did you not follow the game at all? Like well, like it's it takes elements from it, but it's it doesn't make sense. Like uh, after uh, so like Shiki kills uh, Arcoid, uh, not in her home, but in a park, <laughs> like with no concern about what happens to the body. <laughs> what? Then, yeah. <laughs> then uh, later when Damn, she that Shiki's dumber. Yeah. And later, when uh, she confronts him, she doesn't do it in front of the school, but in front of the mansion. <laughs> like, <laughs> like he Sui steps out of the mansion. Like she's not waiting by the gate already. She just steps out and sees him walking away with her, and she tells Akia, and she barely cares. Like, <laughs> I don't... Uh. what the heck? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's a completely different series at that point. Yeah. <laughs> I'm only three episodes in. Like, I don't know what they even do. Like, I... Oh, God. There's, I could talk about this for like ten minutes, but I guess we should get started. <laughs> Twilight Grass Moon, Fairy Tale Princess. Oh, yeah, uh, one more thing. Um, This is not going to be a full playthrough. Uh, Like the game said there, like there are many different paths and choices. Uh... I think we're just going to go through the main story and whatever side stuff we happen across along the way. I'm expecting this to take about three streams, give or take. So, uh, there we go. OP. A slight nausea when I open my eyes. I pass it off as a, a common happening in the morning when I notice a pitch black crow outside the window. When I get myself together to go to school, a funeral hearse passes by the street I frequent. The sky is blindingly clear. The strong sunlight that burns the skin. The wind that comforts my body soaked in sweat. White smoke coming off the asphalt and the shadows of many trees lining the sides of the road. Such things tell me summer is near. The sounds of summer hurry one onward. 
Even though the scorching heat of last year was intolerable, I still hope there might be something fun happening. Wipe the sweat off my forehead and look up at the sky. In the sky is a burning sun. There will be a vacation soon, and many plans for the summer must be made. Time flies by in an instant, so if I'm to enjoy the summer, then I have to thoroughly plan everything out beforehand. Well then, a hot summer that could choke someone is here again this year. Thinking all that, Todoshiki did not make a single plan. Hmm. I stretch as I mutter such nonsense. It's too late to be caught by the summer, but all determination has left my body, so I can't bring myself to focus on anything. Summer vacation. Looks like it'll be hot this year, too. I yawn as I take the usual road to school. The thing that comes to my mind at first is how good it will feel if I were to dry the blanket outside. Really, thinking of such things before an important event is proof that all desire to play has been brutally uprooted. Well, that'll end today, too. The last day of the finals. And in addition, only two subjects are left. After this final hardship, I can dry as many blankets as I want starting tomorrow. I come to the intersection I always frequent. A dump truck skids into my view as it makes a braking noise. There isn't anyone in front of the truck. The dump truck is trying its best to slow down even though there aren't any street lights. Before I could think, my body acted after feeling the danger. My legs move. The moment I was about to thoughtlessly jump in front of the dump truck. I don't know who this could be, but chances are it's a girl. <laughs> Good morning, Shiki. My spirit gets broken by a greeting that doesn't fit the situation. My legs were about to jump, jump stop. I turn back, there is... Oh, smiling and waving Arcoid. Cool. Coincidence to meet up here. I can't tell up to what point she's been truthful, but she's standing there smiling. I told her not to appear on roads to school on school days, but she totally ignored my orders. Hey, Arcoid. Even the fact that you're up and about this early in the morning is unnatural. Usually this isn't called coincidental. Rather, it's on purpose. Eh? Is that so? But I suddenly wanted to see you, so I thought it, so I thought it would be good to meet you here. So since, after all, we met, I think it's a coincidence. Wow, after listening to that, I actually sort of... Or actually sort of sounds like a coincidence. I guess it can't be called a coincidence meeting you here. But really, what if others see us together? I'm already being watched by one teacher. I told you not to come here, Arcoid. Shh, shh. I tell her to go away after, with a hand gesture. <laughs> then suddenly, Arcoid completely... Completely opposite from her smile just now, frowns in dissatisfaction. Set. What's with the tone of your voice? You make it sound like I'm not supposed to be here. It's not that I'm making it sound like you can't be here. You really can't be here. <laughs> I shouted at a reaction. It's scary to get used to something. I've become able to reply calmly to Arcoid's stubborn requests. Anyway, it's against the rules to come to a road to school. If something important comes up, I'll visit you straight away, and I usually visit often, so you don't have to wait that long. If you can't keep a simple promise like this, then I can't keep my promise with you either, Arcoid. But 
Arcoid scrunches her shoulders. To Arcoid, who acts very much on impulse but is weak against logic. T uh, talking with reason is about the second most effective way. As a side note, the most effective would, way would be something you can't do in front of people. <laughs> like boasting or something like that. But I couldn't help it. This morning I felt something really ominous. I felt that you would get hurt if I just left you. Arkwaid says that without confidence. It feels weird hearing that, but I am happy that she came here out of worry for my well-being. Yeah, sorry it was so harsh. Anyway, I'm thankful that you're worried about me, but I won't get hurt. Even though I may not look it, I did fight against vampires. Is that so? It doesn't, it doesn't sound too convincing coming from someone who suffers from chronic anemia. Uh, she hit the nail right on the head. Now that I look at it, you don't look too well nowadays. Shiki, do you have some worry that you're hiding from me? Right, I don't have much to hide, so I'll be truthful today. No, that's you. And I pointed Arcoid. Eh? Me? Yeah, my worry is you. You're the source of my headaches. It would be great if you could think of what it's like to be in my shoes even a little. Well, it is a little fun to take care of her as she does what she wants to. Wants to. But if I say that, she'll be even more energetic, so I'll keep my mouth shut. R really? Did I burden you so much? And so... For some reason, Arcway seems to be grossly mistaken. Arcway... Burden? What burden? You're not energetic nowadays, Shiki. So I was wondering if I've overburdened you and made you use too much strength or something. Arcway fidgets and fiddles around with her, fing her fingers. This is dangerous. If she reacts this way, then her innocence will get to me and make me embarrassed too. Uh, no, it's not that. The reason I'm not feeling energetic is because of the tests. If I get a mediocre grade, then Akia will be intolerable. But these last few days, I've only been studying. Test? Alright, little sister said something about that too. Something like she'll not tolerate it if I step on the mansion grounds until the tests are over. Hmm, <laughs> hmm. Oh, Arcoid nods. Although she doesn't know a lot of things, I think she at least knows what files are. Yeah, that's the way it is. I'm not feeling down because of you, so don't worry about it. You seem to be having a hard time, Shiki. Uh, if I could, I would forget all about tests and enjoy the summer, too. Hook my arm in hers and speak what's on my mind. Then... Simple. While laughing, Arcoid raises her hand. Bam. I don't know what she's thinking, but she hits the back of my head. Wait, what are you... Arco... I can't even finish my short complaint. My consciousness rapidly fails. Right before my vision turns completely dark. The black crow I saw when I woke up in the morning and... The hearse I saw on the street come to mind. My consciousness sinks. It was a pretty heavy hit. It was heavy enough that, like Arcoid said... Heavy enough to forget about yesterday... No, even then, Arcoid. This is a little too much. Now I can't even complain verbally. Right, now that I think about it, I've been feeling something ominous since morning. A day.
Wait, what? I guess skip. This is her pain with me, like legit. <laughs> Oh, um, did I? Well, I think I messed something up. Let me. I don't know why. What the be... heck? I thought it was supposed to only skip repeated. Oh. <laughs> Gets to tell you the scenario director's recommended scenes: crimson paper relations. Okay. I, I, hmm. Okay, don't skip. Oh, wait, uh... Open my eyes from a slumber since morning has come. Okay, w This is new, right? Wake up to a soft morning sunlight. Maybe I feel fell asleep quickly last night, but my body feels completely refreshed. It almost feels as if it's weird to wake up now. Mm. I stretch after propping my body up. So I did like I did test like the game by going through some scenes, but I thought I deleted the save file after that. I don't know if something got left over. Yeah. Uh, maybe that's what happened. Because yeah. I, I mean like it still gave me the the pop of like starting message earlier, so I, I thought that meant like the save had been completely wiped. Hmm. I stretch after propping my body up. The sun is an autumn one. Not cold, not hot. Just perfect. Like, you can tell from the stillness of the air that Hisui hasn't come yet. Hisui opens the door and goes out before I wake up. And then, after a little while, she comes back to wake me up. Then, I guess it's not 7 o'clock yet. The clock tells me it's half past 6. Must be time for Hisui to come. It's weird that I woke up before Hisui came. I didn't do anything differently yesterday. 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 I try to think of when I went to sleep and all my thoughts stop. Eh? Yesterday. What did I do yesterday? I don't remember what I did yesterday at all. Maybe it's because yesterday was just another normal day. I can't even remember when I went to bed. Something feels off. Well done, then. What did I do the day before yesterday? Put my hand on my forehead and think. The day before yesterday. Today's Wednesday. So it must have been Monday. I must go to school since it was a school day. Must have gone to school. And what did I do at school? Well, it must have been a day just like yesterday. Hey, maybe I'm not fully awake yet. For some reason, when I try to remember, my mind turns blank. What is this? I can feel my current existence, but everything else is hard to grasp. No, maybe. There's one thing. It feels like I forgot something big, or had something unspeakable happen to me. It hurts. I think hard at the back of my head hurts. I touch it and there's a little bump. I think maybe I hit something while I was sleeping. Knock, knock. Someone's at the door. Excuse me, Shiki-sama. Just bring that. Hisui opens the door. Hey, did you oh, did you sleep well, Hisui? I wave my hand. Hisui raises her eye brow in surprise and then good morning Shiki-sama she quietly greets me you are awake today then I'll bring your change of clothes immediately please wait a moment Yusui walks out of the room as usual well since I can't even remember yesterday I probably shouldn't be saying as usual uh, just a sec. I have something to ask. Yes? What is it, Shigisama? Uh, it's nothing serious, but can you tell me what I did yesterday? 
Ah, uh, for some reason she looks really uncomfortable. Eh, uh, you don't have to tell me in detail. Tell me things like when I returned, what I had for dinner, whether Akia got mad, things like that. You see, we bats her head apologetically. Whether she really doesn't know, or my behavior yesterday was extremely embarrassing. She looks really uncomfortable talking about it. For some reason, I can't help but feel I'm abusing her. Sorry, I asked something stupid. I did it without thinking, so you don't have to worry about it. So he looks up with apologetic eyes. No, no, don't worry about it. Could you bring me the change of clothes? Can't go to the dining room in this. So he leaves the room, even though it looks like she wants to say something. Okay. Don't skip. When I enter the living room after changing, Akia is drinking her tea as usual. Akia, who's been looking at the courtyard, now looks at me. Good morning, Nissan. I'm glad you look well this morning. A satisfied smile. What she must really be saying is, you got up early for once. Yeah, ni hao. <laughs> After a simple greeting, I head to the dining room. Stand corrected. You're just as always today. Why such an insincere greeting? With that, she turns her scolding eyes to me. It's a pity. She doesn't understand the friendly feeling I tried to convey with my simple greeting. It's not insincere. Saying I slept well all the time gets boring. I thought maybe I would try something more exotic today. to me, but if you say so, that's the way it is. If that's the case, how about I start using that green tomorrow too? Ooh, that would be welcome. For a moment, I think about Akia greeting me energetically. For some reason, I feel that it'd be bad for my mental health to see such a mismatch in the morning. I might really clash from anemia. No, let's drop it. A greeting is a show of etiquette, so I'll try to be careful next time, too. Now that you understand me, son. Please don't make me say useless things in the morning. Akia elegantly drinks her black tea. Basically, morning at the Tonal Mansion doesn't change whether I wake up early or not. Akia and I both became used to it. So it's just another morning. I come to the lobby after I finish my preparations. It's only 7 o'clock. I could probably drop by somewhere and still have time to make it to school. Well then. Ooh. Arcway's apartment. So also we're not using the flowchart this time because it is a mess and I can't decipher it. <laughs> And I want to see the Inui house. We've never been there. Yeah, let's, let's try it. Maybe I'll invade the Inui house. Don't skip. Hmm, Arihiko's house, eh? But why? I wonder at myself as I head over to Arihiko's without any particular reason. I do sometimes visit after school to pass time, but in the morning? I guess once in a while won't hurt. Life is interesting because of these random impulses. So here I am. The house of the shy and happy Inui Arihiko Kun. I ring the bell. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> Ding dong. After a few minutes, the main door opens with a ghastly creak. Asks the woman who only pokes half her face out of the door. Hello, Ichigo-san. If you're... If you're coming out, does that mean Arihiko kun's already left? Huh? 
That idiot didn't come home yesterday. The woman, in deep thought now, steps out of the doorway. Oh, hey. What? I was wondering who it was. And it turns out to be you, Arima. Do excuse me. I finally fell asleep after three days of work. I'm sorry to wake you up. It's been a while, Ichigo-san. Yeah, you haven't changed much from being an awkward teenager. She puffs out a smoke and smiles mysteriously. A mysteriously indes indescribable smile. Inui Ichigo-san. Inui. Her last name implies she's Arihiko's big sister. Profession unknown, says Arihiko. Hey, Tono. I know you're in a special deal with Takata-kun, but listen to me. Okay, what is it? The truth is, I thought my sister was a detective when I was in elementary school. <laughs> eh? Meaning she's not? That's unexpected. Ah, so from middle school onward, I thought maybe she was a novelist. That wasn't it either. Hmm? She's not a novelist either? Your second guess failed as well? Then what does she do? Yeah, from high school, I thought maybe she was a journalist. What do you think? Hmm, anyway, don't cross into my territory. Special deal doesn't work that way. Have you tried asking her? <laughs> or something like that. Anyway, the point is, what Ichigo-san does will always remain a mystery. So, what's up today? Did the family idiot do something stupid again? No, I don't know whether he's in trouble. Anyway, I wasn't affected by it. Well, I just thought maybe it'd be good to go to school together once in a while. Hmm, sorry that you got to know him. He only confides in you. And you don't brush him off either. Uh, I wouldn't brush him off. So, where is Arihiko? I don't really know. I think he was at... Dachi's. I'll tell him to go to school, so if he skips, please let me know. I consent. Ichigo-san looks my way for a while and then... Arima, let me see your hand. She says curtly. What is it? I show her my hand un unconditionally. And on the outstretched hand, Ichigo sort of puts something. Here, when you're free, come again. I'll buy you dinner. She waves and goes into the house. Alone, I look at my hand. And on there was a half-empty tube of gold acrylic paint. <laughs> Maybe she's an artist? <laughs> Can we go after his sister? <laughs> it's a possibility. Sorry, Inui. <laughs> <laughs> Homeroom starts. Mr. Kujihuni sits at the podium. After the roll call, the announcement of the day, the announcements of the day are made. Nothing special. Tranquil day today starts as usual. It's lunchtime. The classroom gets loud, and most students head off to the cafeteria. Don't know. Where were you all? Where we have lunch today? Hungry Arihiko asks. Hmm, what should I do? What are you going to do? Me? I'm going to have some bread. If you're going to the cafeteria, I'll have to bid goodbye. Oh, I was actually thinking of going there. Unfortunately, the food in the cafeteria is expensive. If I'm to use my lunch money of 500 yen wisely, I have to buy some bread and eat it in the courtyard, or leash off senpai in the tea room. Ha, what ridiculous thoughts are you having, Tono? Really, the man who saved 
100,000 yen from elementary school as a miser. Again, angry for some reason. Senpai or the courtyard are fine, but today I want to have some donkatsu rice at the cafeteria. Damn it. I'll just eat the cafeteria, steal from Senpai in the tea room, eat peacefully in the courtyard. Mm. <laughs> Let's go see CL. Okay, so I definitely didn't get this far with the scenes, so maybe it was that setting to skip skip scenes that I, I toggled earlier. Because I had that off when I was testing. Maybe that's what's triggering it. I'll just go to the tea room and steal from Senpai. I have filled my stomach with two snack breaks from the store. Snack breaks from the store. The rest will be up to Senpai. Just like exploiting a loophole. I've decided. I'll go to the tea ceremony club room. Well then. I guess I'll eat my bread. Alone and lonely. Arahiko rushes out as if thinking that now he, now's the chance. What's up with him? I thought he'd come with me. Well, I guess I won't have to share anything with him. I'll go to the tea room quickly before he changes his mind. Ah, Senpai, you're, you're already here. The tea room is open. Senpai is the only member of the tea ceremony club. And since the room is unlocked, she has to be inside. Hello. I go in with a greeting. Welcome, Tonokun. Are you eating lunch here today? We. Oui. I wanted to have some tea and share some lunch, too. With that, I whip out the bread I bought at the, in the store. Sausage bread and curry bread. The sausage bread will be mine, and the curry bread is for material exchange. Ah, it's curry bread from the store in front of the office. We. Oui. I thought you might be sick of the curry bread from the store in front of the cafeteria. Ah, Tonokun, he thinks deeply. But I never get sick of curry bread, so you don't have to worry about such a thing. We, oui. <laughs> I kind of thought that too. Okay, I'll bring some tea, so please wait here. So if I energetically goes to make tea, I pull out some cushions, open the window to let some fresh air in, and sit down. So lunch starts as usual. Senpai's lunchbox is jumbo sized today too. Even if she were to offer me a hamburger or tempura, it'd be enough to feed one whole person. Then after all that, the curry bread. How does she fit it all in? All that in. It's the autumn of appetite. She sighs and eats. Ha. <laughs> I don't think the season has anything to do with a person's appetite, but I'll say nothing here. Oh. You saw that, right? <laughs> no. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think it has anything to do with Yeah, I don't think it has anything to do with it, Nia. How you see I almost dropped the teacup. Did you say something, Tonokun? Soft, so I didn't hear it clearly enough. No, I didn't say anything. Good, great. But I was wondering what I should do if what I heard were not hallucinations. Senpai smiles as usual, but I think I can feel the poisonous intent from her, her voice. Anyway, Tonokun. Are you done with your lunch? If you're not full, please take some of mine. Ah, uh, no. I don't want to eat any of yours. I could take maybe a hamburger or a tempura. 
Senpai, wouldn't you be less full because of me? Not the case. I did get the curry bread from you. I might leave some, but it will definitely fill me up. Hmm, her chopsticks move without resting, but I really shouldn't say anything. You can't bluff your way through. A big eater like you won't be satisfied with even with two persons worth meow. Snap. A fracture appears on the teacup Senpai is holding. <laughs> Tonokun? What did you say? What did you say now? I still couldn't hear because it was soft. Ah, I didn't say anything. I really didn't. <laughs> you eat so well, even though it all goes to the butt, Nya. At this rate, you'll be approaching 60s in the winter, Nya. Snap, snap, snap. With an unfaltering smile, she puts down the teacup that's trying its best not to fall apart. She stands up without another word. Uh, Senpai? There's no answer. Senpai marches towards me and stands right on, in front. Excuse me? How can you say such horrible things? And with a serious face, she monstrously pulls on my cheeks. Ah, it hurts. It hurts, Senpai. How do you know I wait, Tonokun? If you don't answer truthfully, bad things will happen. I don't know. I don't know such a thing. Even though I retaliate with all my might, nothing goes through. You mustn't say a girl's weight so blatantly. What if you get it right by accident? How would the girl feel then? She puts more spin into her pinch. It hurts, senpai. It's gonna rip. Your mouth is going to... It's better for a liar's mouth to be ripped. Close to 60 kilograms. What nonsense! A person who speaks such nonsense deserves this. Well, a second, wanna... how much is 60 kilograms in pounds? Hundred thirty-two pounds. <laughs> Even more force. There. Tell if one look near. Who's speaking nonsense? Seriously, who's a liar, Nyang? The voice sounds so transparent. Oh no, Kun. And her finger stops suddenly. Yeah, I heard it too. Really? The rumor that there's a cat demon in the tea room is true. <laughs> Senpai closes her eyes and catches her breath. And then with a deep breath. Come out, you millennium old cat demon vampire. <laughs> it almost rips my ear jumps apart. Mysterious object lately lands with a tap. I was caught off guard. I didn't think you would use such a traditional method. With a pain's expression, Arkway gets up slowly. What were you thinking? This is a school for humans. 
It's not a place for some unnatural, non-standard, ridiculous, like you, to be around normal people. Ooh. <laughs> I don't have to hear something like that from you, CL. I don't even want to come to this territory of yours. Is that so? Then get out without any delay. Of course not just the tea room, but the whole school. Actually, leave the town and go back to where you came from. Hey, You can't even revive now. Can you really say such a thing, my opponent? A body that doesn't die. I don't actually need that. The tension rises as they, tr as they try to stare each other down. It's dangerous. I don't know how Arkway got here, but... If they start a fight here, then... It'll turn out really bad. Both of you, wait. You do know this is a school. I carefully try my stopping spell on them. I know. Well, this vampire might not. Ah, uh, it's okay. I didn't come to kill Ciel. Unlike Senpai, who emits an aura of death, Arcoid is relaxed. Senpai and I tilt our heads in confusion. Arcoid looks around the room once or twice and then... In the blink of an eye, intercepts Senpai's lunchbox. Doing? Itadakimasu! <laughs> As Senpai watches on blankly, Arkway gulps down Senpai's lunch in one go. Well, not the lunchbox itself, of course. Ah! Uh, ah! Huh? Cell set by shakes. Arcway chews a while and then gulps it down cleanly. Ooh, that's a new image. <laughs> you. You ate it. You. ate my whole lunch. There's a fiery aura coming from Senpai. Wow, it's the fiercest yet. Arcway, on the other hand. Blech. <laughs> Seth, it's terrible. She pours oil on the fire and clutches her stomach. Bull, you steal someone's lunch and then you say that? What are you? <laughs> Cries Senpai. There's only one thing I can do now. Hardly, I hide in the corner to watch as the story unfolds. I'm okay now, really. What CL makes is terrible. It's unnecessarily big, and it has so many calories. Did you get that, Shiki? Don't eat anything CL makes ever again. If you do, you'll become fat just like her. <laughs> Aww. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Senpai's sanity just snapped. Now, who's fat? Just who? Senpai's right tray tries to dig into Arcoid's face. Hold, you're serious? Oh, no, wait, no. Uh, mm -hmm. Hold, you're serious? Arcway retreats, surprise. Senpai straight misses, but her murderous intent is still there. Ooh, you show your real face in, in a school. That's not adult like CO. I don't even have to listen. Let's end this today, Arcway Boonstead. 
Wow, Ciel, you, you're serious? Getting mad after I said something truthful? I'm really mature of you. <laughs> you, you cat demon. Surprise left, jab follows. Ooh, yeah. You're too soft. See how you miss. See how you're too inexperienced. Dark way of plays with Senpai. There. But even that doesn't last long. Bam. Light sound. Senpai's jab probably hit Arcway's arm this time. <laughs> I won't be played by you forever. Not cat face. I'll turn it into a squished dumpling this time. Ooh, Hitman style. Is if I really thinking of killing? <laughs> That's unfair. You get your own sprite. How cheap of you, Nya. Hmm, such childish thoughts. Now I can read your movements. Your next move will be your last. Seal Senpai makes wishing noises with her hands. And from there, the left hand whips that out to Arcoid. Ah, the role of a villain suits Seal Senpai. <laughs> Maybe she should go into acting. Oop. Then I, I guess I can't help it. Then I'll use my trump card to counter yours. Nya. Arcway charges CL Senpai. I'll kill you. Senpai victoriously throws her punch. Whip like left fist ruthlessly drills into Arcway's face. Yeah. But Arcoid avoids as if it were nothing. Surprise, Senpai quickly throws her second. This time it really hits Arcoid, who lost balance avoiding the last one. Yeah, yeah. Uh. And then the third. It flies like an arrow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Avoided once more. Ah, uh, you... Swish, whoosh, whoosh. The punches fly like a machine gun. <laughs> Arcoid avoids with an oddly familiar circular motion. Uh. Sha. Senpai quite quickly widens the distance between them. Arcway doesn't follow and still does her swaying or waving or whatever defensive movement she did to avoid her punches. Senpai glares at Arcway angrily. Arcway slowly approaches Senpai. I can easily see that that plucker skill. I'll in this and go out to play with Shikinya. Senpai is silent. Maybe she gave up after realizing that she can't read Arcoid's ever-changing movements. Zianya, die, The rushing Arcoid. The running jab of Senpai. But Arcoid revolves and revolves and stops to avoid. But. At that moment, Senpai puts on a silent smile. I knew you were going to stop. The half-raised right fist lands a hit on the defenseless Arcoid's face.
<laughs> Bam. <laughs> Sound of a clean hit. Hold on, can I get the... Uh... Yeah, just wanted to see the clean image there. <laughs> And in stereo, not mono. The exact same time, each person's fist digs into the other's face. Ah, how grand. I remember it can't be heard, probably. Fantastically outstretched, good enough to put in a textbook. What a cross counter. Senpai is, is especially wonderful. Arcway trying to counter against a perfect punch. Put a spin into hers to increase the damage. Indeed, the strength of Arc, the skill of CL. What perfect timing. Seeing as how they hit each other at the same time, I wonder if these two are secretly connected inside. You can throw a punch, Arclaid. You do, yeah. Each of them glares at the other. And then the two collapse in the boxing rit. No, the tatami mat. Ah, it's about time. Lunchtime is almost over now that I snap out of it. The two are unconscious and lie on the floor, pitching each other's cheeks. Alright, let's go back. Let's just go back. I don't want to clean up after them, so I just leave as if I've seen something I shouldn't have. <laughs> so I, I always thought Nekowark was just like a separate being from Arcoid, so <laughs> that kind of surprised me. <laughs> Two. <laughs> Walk down the hallway full of students. Lunch is just about to end, so the hallway is really loud. Perhaps it's the time when the hallway is at its loudest. There's a lot of laughter in the noise, so there's no feeling of desperation, of depression. The happenings of yesterday, today, tomorrow. All the conversations ask for a smile. He said it has something to do with the upcoming cultural festival, too. I realize that even I am a little loosened up as I look outside the window. The face in the reflection seems peaceful. A day without any complaints. I didn't have any headaches or anemia attacks recently, and on top of that, I didn't even have to take off my glasses for anything. I reflected. The reflect. Wait. Reflected, I. I there's, a, <laughs> there's a typo there. Reflected eye looks peaceful just observing the hallway. Transparent self portrait. The Tonoshiki reflected on the glass, like the real Tonoshiki can't do anything to affect the world on the, uh, the other side. Suddenly, I, walk, I was alone. The noises were gone. There was no one in the hallway. The rowdy hallway turned into a deserted silence. It felt as if I were the only one who could not catch the train. The feeling that something important has just left me alone. Such a sad situation. The only thing that the peaceful reflection did was watch. Tonokun, classes have begun. With that, Mr. Kunihuji starts a conversation from the doorway of his classroom. Ah, uh, I'm sorry, I was a little out of it. Is that so? Please hurry to your class. Mr. Kunihuji closes the classroom door behind him. But it wasn't anything important. I just didn't hear the bell and didn't go back to class. Class has already started. I should go straight to my classroom, but for some reason... Hmm. I'll skip class. I really don't feel like going to class. 
All right, I'll just sneak out through the back courtyard. Now that I've decided, taking action is easy. Use Arihiko's favorite secret route for escaping. I sneak by so no one will notice and arrive at the back of the school. And the only thing left is climbing over the fence hidden in the grass. Only a few people know of it. I quickly move to the place. The moment I enter the grass field, strong sunlight sears my vision. Ah, it's too bright. But even so, I step forward. Something sinks. It feels like I've stepped on someone's, some organism's stomach. Our glasses fall off. Eh? Did I hallucinate? The place where I ended up was a world I've never seen before. A bell rings. Ding, ding. What is this bell? It sounds far away. Before my blurred vision. Below the cliff in the narrow valley, the bell rings to tell of a funeral in a village. This isn't good. It's bad to stay here. My eyes and not my brain and not my brain tell me. Because it's a world I know of. Running quietly, the world collapses without anyone knowing. There's no place before this. To say it simply, this is the end of the world. Trip. My retreating footstep falters and slides. Danger. By the time I say it, it's already too late. My stomach sinks. No, this can't be. Hey! Even my outstretched arm sinks. There's nothing to grab onto. The world I was standing on is sinking, so there's nothing I can do. Why? It's so sudden. But somewhere, I feel as if I've experienced this yesterday. Well, since I don't remember yesterday, I can't really avoid this now, either. I sink. The end of the world swallows my body into a bottomless trench. I wake up in a, to a resounding bell. Ah, this period is over. I murmur to myself and realize that I'm lying face down on the ground. Why am I here? I look around and find a banana peel at my feet. Banana peel? <laughs> ah, it hurts. And my ankle hurts. Then I did hit, I hit something on the way down and hallucinate. There's no answer as expected. And was that a daydream just or was that a dream just now? Hallucination of the end of the world. Strangely realistic. It'll be easy to confirm. I'll go back to the grass field again and cross the small road. After contemplating, I enter the grass field and then come out. Nothing strange. It really was just a dream. What a letdown. I don't even feel like sneaking out to go play. I'll just quietly go back to class at a 10-6 period. Don't skip. Homeroom's over. Maybe the day's longer now, but the sun doesn't seem like it's going to wane. It still feels like day. It makes me feel like I want to go back. Hmm. What do you think? See in the classroom. All right. I gotta turn that off because it's it's gonna be spoilers. The uh, scene skip. <laughs> we gotta get with his sister. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really need to hurry. I can enjoy the sun for a while. Avoiding the rush hour crowd, I joined the sunbathing club for the day. Done with sunbathing. Crimson sunset almost lights the cityscape on fire. Then I'll head back now. 
pick up my bag and leave the classroom. Now that I think about it, if I keep spending my days leisurely, uh, I'll probably never remember the happenings of yesterday. A little after the intersection, I meet Arihiko. Eh? What are you, why are you here? What sort of a thing... Oh, what sort of things that say to a friend, Arihiko? I glare at him. But he glares at me thoughtfully, too. What, do you want to say something? He silently observes me, and then quietly... Yeah! <laughs> Grabs my cheek, and... Unsatisfied with just sad, starts to sprint. It hurts! Ma ma do do you. <laughs> well, just making sure. He might have been a doppelganger. He's just satisfied. He waves his hand around. You are still holding my cheek. Do you be Flashing left straight. With a satisfying scream, he collapses. He has a reputation worse than a monster. So, what are you planning on doing? I just thought that maybe a tanuki took on your form. <laughs> Why a tanuki all of a sudden? Why'd you assault my cheek? I thought I saw you on the main road. You were in the shade and away from people, so when I started talking, you just replied that you were looking for someone and that I shouldn't bother you. On the main road? No, I'm just coming from school. I know that. I took the shortest route here, so you could possibly be here before me. But I had to test which one of you was a tanuki or a fox demon. Or a hiko. Maybe that person on the road just was just someone who resembles me? Oh no, is it the other Shiki from, uh, Plus Disc? <laughs> oh, he is. <laughs> oh, I thought that too, but I've recently been having some experiences with the occult. He scratches his head. Looks like he's having one hell of a time himself, too. Well, maybe it's just someone who looks like you. Ah, there was that time when someone like you was roaming around the streets at night, too. Eh? I never heard of that incident from you. I forgot since it was a fairly long time ago. He had an aura of danger like you, but that was it. The person just now looked just like you. Or at least he resembled you when you were young. Hmm. Okay, so not that cheeky then. <laughs> or something. He remembers to himself. Now that I notice, he's trying to pack a bag full of carrots. Arihiko, are you making a carrot cake or something? Don't be foolish. These are going to be eaten as is. Well, I don't have enough free time to meddle in another's taste, so I'll just leave it at that. Bye then, come visit us sometime. My sister wants to see you. I turn my back to my comrade and start heading home myself. I go uphill. I feel completely exhausted. Maybe because there's no one nearby. It feels like the time I spent at school today belongs to someone else. I despair as I consider the possibility that a normal day might be impossibly out of reach. A long time ago, a circus from another town visited. It was when I was young. Even though I badly wanted to go, my parents didn't allow it. In the evening, when the circus was about to begin, I knelt in my room and looked at the clock. And when it got dark, I gathered enough courage to travel to the end of the world and left my home alone. Night streets. The legs of a child of a child, I set the next town as my destination. Far, far away. I couldn't even return when I decided to go back, so I kept on going, all the while crying. After many hours, I finally arrived. Night was well on its way. 
Looked up at the big circus tent directed in the middle of an empty field. The completely closed front gate. The night sky that seemed so far away. The tent illuminated by some lights. Looked like a descended UFO, but there's no one there. Ah, the festival was already over. It was exciting just looking at the gigantic tent. I th thought it would be really fun. Even though I knew it couldn't do a thing for me, I just looked up at it. I don't remember what happened afterwards. Since I didn't have the strength to go back, my parents probably came to pick me up. It's an old story. I believe there was a giant wall in the next town at the time, so I couldn't imagine what it was like in the other in other places. The temperature drops. Without anyone, anyone around, I realize I'm alone. After ascending the hill, I arrive at the main gate of the mansion. He's always waiting for me at the gate. Welcome home, Shigi-sama. Are you feeling well? Ah, uh, yeah, I'm back. I'm feeling well, but why are you here? Why are you here again? Happened to see you, so I thought I'd, I'd greet you here. You see what he says with a faint smile. Ah, thanks for that. <sighs> Since I was feeling lonely just moments ago, her smile is an unforeseen mood lifter. I try to keep myself from blushing and glance at Hisui's face. Then let's go in. Are Akia and Kohaku-san in too? Kiyosama has returned as well. Nesan was doing something in the inner courtyard. Ah, it's as usual. She smiles faintly again. We go through the gate together. Put on my bag and catch my breath. And what will I do before dinner? Hmm. Kohaku, we haven't seen her at all. Yeah. <laughs> Kohaku-san seems to be in a room, so I'll pair. A little visit. Kwaku-san, are you there? I knock twice. Eh? No answer? I knock two more times. No answer, but there are sounds coming from the room. Sounds of extreme happiness? Does she have a TV? The TV playing at a high volume? Uh, I'm a little scared. <laughs> I'm going to put this, the screen up. Probably nothing, but just in case. It bothers me. It bothers me, but it would be, would it be okay for me to go in? <laughs> a little hurt, will it? <laughs> yeah, just a little won't hurt, will it? <laughs> okay. A man needs his backbone. I'm charging in. Oh no, okay, we're good. <laughs> ah, Kohaku-san is gaming. <laughs> Cute. <laughs> Jiki san Kohaku-san puts down the controller and hurriedly comes to the door. I... I'm sorry. How many times did... Oh, no. Wait, sorry, how many times did you knock? Ah, Kohaku-san. You don't have to apologize. Sorry, I just barged in. I bow a little and glance at the back of the room. It... Kohaku-san, what is that? What did it be? She intentionally rolls her eyes and hides. As usual, she smiles to bury the matter. Oh, I think gaming is normal. Nowadays, even girls enjoy lots of games. 
talking about, Shiki-san? I'm your servant. Why would I be enjoying such lowly things as games? God, it's weird to think about this. This came out 20 years ago. <laughs> yeah, there, there was a time where uh, it wasn't as common for girls to play games. <laughs> Oof. Eh, that's a good mindset. Then you're just telling me that you found that the game gaming system and are testing it out. Just as you say, it was in Makihisa Sama's room, so I wondered what it could be. Wait, Dad played games? <laughs> <laughs> it's all an experiment. A test, if you will. She agrees wholeheartedly. Oh, then can I, then can I take it away? I refuse. A very quick reply. <laughs> I pursue the matter further. She rolls her eyes again. It's cute that she keeps on insisting, even though the truth of the matter is out. Kakusan, I, I like games too. I go to Ari, he goes to play fighting games. During the summer, I played games for three straight days, even. You look like you have no life, but you like games? <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised. Hmm, yeah, it's one of those things I do. We're not addicted, but it doesn't matter. What? You should have said so. I finally have a person in the mansion who condones my gaming. <laughs> Shiki-kun, get! <laughs> she claps her hands enthusiastically. Looks like she badly needs a hobby. And Shiki-san, do you have some time? If you do, please, let's play. She holds my hand tightly. Don't really care if you don't have the time. I won't let you go until you say yes. Her eyes seem to say. Alright, just as I expected, but this will have to be... Yes, take it from Akiya-sama. It's found out. The game system will be taken away again. Again? Again. <laughs> she hurries me toward the television. Hmm, as expected, Akia and Hisui both seem to be against gaming. Okay. I'm trying to figure out what con- That looks vaguely like a PS1 controller, except if it was Makihisa's, that would be way too advanced for him. <laughs> And unless he... Like it wasn't his. <laughs> he probably uh, lied. Unless he, like, just got it, I guess, but... <laughs> she's good. I have expected it, but she's a real professional. On the screen are two students facing each other. Why did I hear a gunshot just now? Kakusan is a male student with a sleek, with sleeked hair. And I'm also a male student with a staff. Students throw punches and kicks, but sometimes guns are shot, too. Okay. Name of the game, Bloody Royale 3, or BR3 for short. Third installment in the Transforming Fighting Game series. Strike start off the round. Right when the round starts, Kakusan uses a strange grappling move. My student goes airborne. And then a merciless combo by Kohaku-san. Oop, hold on. What's with the aerial combo? <laughs> Once you go airborne, only your corpse will hit the ground. Aren't they ruthless? Click, 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 click. Much like playing a six-beat song on a guitar. 
Akasan's fingers have a mind of their own and move the controller freely. Even though she's using a handicap, I can't do anything. Without even an attack, I am defeated. Unfair, Kakasan. You only played this. You only play this game, don't you? For Arahiko, he would have said, I don't need to answer that, but Kohaku-san didn't say anything. It just came out today. I picked it up when I was stop when I was shopping around for dinner. So you only had about an hour to play it. <laughs> okay, well that confirms that if Makihisa must have gone it probably within the last year or two before he died. <laughs> If it's still, yep. there's still making games for it. <laughs> Even as she speaks, her controller moves at the speed of sound. And again, my student hits the ground flat on his face. Doesn't this game even have falling techniques? Techniques are useless in this game. Seems once you go airborne, you have to prepare yourself for some hits. But you can transform once you get out of it. Eh? This transformation? With a push, the screen becomes a bright, becomes bright as the student transforms. I thought maybe it would transform into something like a uniformed mole, but it only changes from school uniform to PE uniform. Wow, how tasteless. Really? If the character's a girl, then the speed doubles. Kind of like this. I don't know when she changed characters, but there it is. A changed female character. Uh, her moves are clean. The scrounging movement looks cute like Hisui. A female student in her PE uniform change, charges mercilessly. It feels weird. Really amazing, but it resembles an athletic festival more than a fighting game. Yes, that's the theme for this installment. People are sick of... of stranded on island survival themes, so they go back to school to determine who's the world's best. Is the story. <laughs> what can you decide with an athletic festival? Uh, anyway, let's give up on fighting games. Let's play something I have a better chance at winning winning at. Uh, how about a racing game? She whips out a game with three lad letters as its title. This isn't a racing game. You do ride cars and bikes, but the basics of obeying a mob boss and committing is obeying a mob boss and committing crimes. Ah, <laughs> uh, Cheeky Kun doesn't like Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> supposed to be like a bleep, I guess. <laughs> she sells something else like Paper Boy if you're going to play such a game. With the she recedes. In any case, it was fun for us. Well, basically only for Kohaku-san. Now that I think back to it, I've never won a single thing, but it was fun nonetheless. GTA and Paperboy are both single-player games, by the way. I don't know what they were talking about there. <laughs> Weird. It was a joy being able to spend time with a child just screaming ADHD clock of sun. <laughs> and then dinner comes. In the large dining hall, the only one sitting are Akia and I. Isui and Kohaku-san are wordlessly standing by in the back. The night mood and the luxurious dinner mentally forces me to mind my manners. Neither Akia nor I talk to each other and silently eat. And as usual, this keeps up until the end, and so we part at the dinner table without a word. It's night, and dinner is over. 
habitual after dinner tea is taking place in the living room. The participants, of course, Akia and Hisui, and Kwakusan and me. Sometimes the participants number five to six to even seven. Must be an indication that there are more people visiting the mansion. Shiki sama. How about a second cup? Thank you. One cube of sugar, no lemon, please. She pours some black tea into my cup. On the sofa are Hisui and I, and the other one and the other one are Akia and Kwaku-san. We're doing nothing but staring out the inner courtyard, but the other side seems to be having a lively conversation. Sama, did you decide on the engagement to Kugamina's first son? Eh, I'll make that side bow down and refuse. Our parents are both stubborn and delusional, so this matter will be a good lesson to them. This must be a disaster for the Kugaminas. Your tactics of annoying surpa surpass everything. So the other side must be thinking hard on how to apologize. Eh, Kohaku, would you refrain from saying something others would not appreciate? Son doesn't get jokes. It'd be troublesome if he believes it. She warns Kohaku. Oh, you don't have to worry about that. I already know that Akia is a stealthy and cold queen. So you don't have to worry about it. Please, keep at your usual scheming. I pretend I didn't hear anything. I lazily wave my hand at them. Chikisama, you shouldn't say such a thing in front of... Nisan, I cannot let that one go. That's right. The only one scheming is Akiyasama, so I have nothing to do with this. <laughs> is that so? It seems like I'll have to take care of the enemy on this side before I deal with Nisan. Akiya sighs. That side seems to be enjoying themselves in their own way. Now that I think about it, weren't you in the neighboring town today, Shiki-san? Neighboring town? No, I didn't have that much time. I was attending school diligently and all. Of course. Took someone for you then. I'm glad I didn't start talking to the person. What? There's another one who resembles Nissan. I thought the other fake was taught a lesson by Seal Senpai. <laughs> I told you to drop that. It's not like you. It's not like you to be upset about such a trivial thing for so long, Akiha. Not it. The thing that bothers me is that you're still keeping contact with. With Seal since then. Asagami School is a strict place. One will be suspended if found talking to someone of the opposite gender. Oh, so that is so it. strict. <laughs> oh, a second, got a spam bot here. Uh... Oh, that's. Oh, there it is. Uh, user, there we go. Okay. Opposite gender. It's not that sort of a contract. A contact. Uh, and accurate. Sean said she'll come visit on the day of the festival. Okay, so, uh, plus this did, in fact, happen, then. <laughs> when did you 
two have such a conversation? Hmm. Why does Akia get so upset when Akira-chan comes up? Shiki-sam. Shiki-sama. Is this Akira-sama? Or is this the Akira-sama who was attacked during the murder incident? Yeah, I got to narrow her through some small thing. Now we talk now and then. What about it? Oh uh, no. There's been murder incidents in the neighboring town, so... Another series of murders in the neighboring town. Ah, now that I think about it, was there such a story? There's a lot of unrest nowadays. Yes, I definitely heard something about it. But where was it? Morning, lunch, night, school, on the road, mansion? That was... yesterday. Today... Tomorrow? He... She talked about it yesterday. Don't you remember yesterday's tea time? Eh? Uh, no. I just blanked out for a while. Really? You lounge about all the time. Please remember such small things at least. As if she's disgusted, she pouts her lips. Ugh, it's a small matter if I forget. But I do still remember the important things or what I like. Remember Akia, Kuakusan, Hisui? Even if you don't like it, I'll still remember. Hmm. I act upset. I thought maybe they would say something, but all of them, as if agreed upon beforehand, turned silent. And so my long day ends. I dumbly stare at the ceiling from my bed. I can't figure out the tiredness as I lie down. But before that, right, there's something I need to do. Something missing inside. Something I forgot to say. Something I must definitely do. That is... Let's see, murder cases, hallucinations... Something I'm forgetting. I'm interested in the hallucinations, personally. Yeah, I'll go for that. <laughs> the end of the world. I sigh after murmuring such an idiotic thought. There's a limit to a man's imagination, and the end of the world isn't within it. I don't know the vastness of the world when I was... I didn't know the vastness of the world when I was young. Then as I grew up and gained knowledge that there is no end to the world. A road is a road, and the end is the start of a journey. It's like a Mobius strip. No matter what, the road doesn't end, and one can walk on it to one's heart's content. There's no end to the world. Since the world is round, going to the end would just put one back at the start. It resembles this world where if one goes to the end, one reaches the end. Although on a different scale, we're living in a circle. Then what is that? If one tries to go outside the world, then he's destroyed. One cannot go out. There's no concept of an outside, so there's no way. And the destruction seems to want to envelop the street. The sunset that looks like the end of the world. A world that has holes. Myself, who is restrained and constricted. This ambiguous day. A world without the past. One can freely re redraw as he wills. Like a garden of models. A place where happiness is the goal. The morning comes again, I'll forget everything and open my eyes. And I could just not go to sleep, but since I'm already asleep as I think this, I can't help it. Hold on a sec. <laughs> Did 
I, sorry, I had to sneeze. <laughs> Only when one is asleep that... Okay. Oh, hello. But when did that all start? I think critically, but my memories have faded. Has it been long, or did it start only just today? There's no proof I can give the question of whether today exists or not. Because I can't remember yesterday, tomorrow, just like today. I can't remember yesterday, tomorrow, just like today, will be a fresh start. Repeat again. Huh, okay, so that's our first loop. Character personal data number five, Kohaku. Birthday, March 12th, blood type B. Hey, wait. <laughs> Measurements. Oh, we have that information now. <laughs> Alright, so uh, let me turn off the... I mean, I guess I should have that on because we do want to skip scenes, but... I guess I could just hold control. Oh. Just leave it for now. So, wait, do I hit resume? Oh, no, no. Oh. Hmm. So I guess, what does the help section say? Oh, teach me a CL sensei. Still exists? <laughs> it's been a long time, everyone. Have you been well? Although the main story is over with, the rescue corner Teach Me Seal Sensei has begun. Hmm, it's understandable, Nya. This time around, the game is balanced very precariously. You probably won't. You probably won't be able to get through it without a hint or two, you know? I don't want to agree with you, but yes, this game is precariously balanced. So I prepared lessons to aid those who can't tell them, who can't tell left from right. Nya, yeah, amazing! You're all confident because you are more popular here than in the main story, Nya. Yeah. <laughs> in some ways, you are a pitiful person. Then, the basics. This time, there are no individual endings for the heroines. So please don't think something like, I decide to go after CL Senpai. So I'll choose only the choices with CL Senpai. Uh, so we're not going to get his sister then. <laughs> Aw, I want the sister. <laughs> Rather, please enjoy just as you like. Any of them is fine. Please be the Tonokun you wish to be. Ah, oh, yes, be the Tonokun you wish to be. I'm gonna go after the sister. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Arihiko, but it has to be done. <laughs> and when a day ends, everything is automatically saved at that point. So the next playthrough, don't choose to restore a save game, but instead click a day and play from the start. The story will not progress if you just restore save games, so be careful. Ah, so that's what it meant by no no need to use the save and load feature. Mm -hmm. For some reason, it seems the likes of vampire. It seems the likes of the vampire heroine and CL appear less often this time around. What's with that, Nya? Ugh. No, that's not the case. Everyone should have an equal share of appearances. Well then, let's stop talking about something that can't come true and begin our lesson. Wait, before that, let's decide on the agenda. Those who want a small guideline, please choose expert. Those who want to know what to choose, please choose beginner. Hmm. <laughs> Not sure.
What do you think? Sound of being an expert. <laughs> All right. Since it doesn't really matter what we choose, right? Yeah, I mean, there is. Uh, eventually, we have to make a certain choice to get to the end, but I guess for now, we'll just go blindly into it. Okay. Mm, the expert course. Let me tell you something. This game utilizes a really, really annoying system where you have to clear many points as you as you go through each day and then enjoy the changes that occur the day after. There are many crybabies who complain about not knowing where they not knowing what went where, the change because of something and things like that. That's true, Nya. Is it true that this game is made of three parts, Chieru? <laughs> yes, that is so. Twilight Grass Moon is largely comprised of three stages. I guess that's what Kizugatsu Toya translates to. One could say it's divided into introduction, development, and finally revelation of truth. You are still in the introduction stage. Hmm. Then what do you need to get past the introduction part? That carries a few requirements. The four most points are to... One, meet the black cat in various places. Two, Experience many different days. Three, sometimes go out far away. Four, sometimes wander the streets alone. These four steps are necessary. Eat the black cat. Hmm. Is it that other mysterious girl who just popped up for like a second? Yeah, I guess it'd have to be. No one else fits that description. Sometimes go far away, sometimes wander alone, and experience many different days. Hmm. I can get one and two, but what are three and four? Going far away would probably mean going out somewhere, like to Arihiko's house. <laughs> As for four, one would have to stay out in the streets all day. Of course, this can't happen if one doesn't look at the end of the world. Mm -hmm, I think there are points that cause the change, yeah? Yes, that's true. The key to this game are those points. They develop the story. And they unlock many other fun side attractions as well. For example, when one gets the keyword cultural festival from somewhere. Will Chiru go boom? <laughs> How can that be? It'll unlock the school day cultural festival events. Wait, I have more questions now. Yeah? Of course. But don't ask me how to... But don't ask me to put a spin on the lesson or something like that. Then, everyone, using all that you've learned now, please enjoy the dreams. My first lesson is over now. Let's meet again after you've seen the scene, a night stroll with the moon and the cat. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, hates me, Arc Sensei. <laughs> oh. Well then, the sudden Arc Sensei's advance corner, I mean, advice corner. <laughs> the place to look at this time is school, lunchtime, tea room. Yeah. We went to the tea room. Hmm. 
You will not be able to take your eyes off my beauty when you diligently attend school and go to the tea room, yeah. <laughs> hmm. Does that mean it's gonna be different this time? Cause we did that. Uh, maybe. Um. Alright, so we'll skip that because we did it already. Uh. I guess go to school. Uh, let's go straight to school this time. I'm tired of waiting. I'm tired. I'm going. I'm going ahead on ahead, Akiha. I shot at the second floor. A surprise voice. Wait just a moment, Nissan. We'll be out right now. The sound of hurried footsteps comes from the second floor. A long while after breakfast, I hurry Akia, who is up until now relaxedly drinking tea in the living room. I say to myself that Akia deserves punishment for leisurely taking time instead of cha cha changing and smile at dark, a dark smile. Within three short minutes, Akia comes down the to the lobby. Really, she doesn't even run when she's short on time. Her lifestyle really is different from mine. Sorry, made you wait. How are we doing on time? Yeah, we still have about 20 minutes to blow, so no worries. Aki has trouble panting stops altogether. He's done. I didn't have to say that you were going on ahead. I know, but I found it weird that someone like you would make others wait. So I just had to. I had to play a little trick on you. I probably should keep that to myself. Is it? Uh, I guess nothing beats going to school early. So let's head out on out together. Start out with an upset Akiha. Wait, wait, wait. So, which timeline are we on? <laughs> if Akia is going to school with him? Yeah. <laughs> she mentioned the girls' school last time, so. <laughs> hmm. Maybe it's all of them and none of them. <laughs> we go downhill. Now that I think about it, we've been going to school together for a while now. After Aki had transferred, we went to school together when I woke up in time. Although that happened, it's only about twice a week. Stop. I stop after hitting a stone on the road. Can you stop? Is it? You look like you've seen a ghost. Aki looks at me from the side. Set from her black hair on her shoulder, oh, <laughs> the shoulder sways me a bit. Uh, hmm, I feel like I went to school with you yesterday, too. Aki uh, just smiles happily, as if she's happy to hear such a thing from me. You've been waking up early nowadays. Find it really enjoyable. I can go to school with you. Uh... She says that with me so frankly, I really don't know what to say. Oh, oh? If you're happy, then I'm happy too. Maybe I'm, it's just my feeling, but I feel as if there is a trap today. Well, uh, I know what you want to say. There's nothing wrong happening at school in the mansion. It's almost scary that these days are so peaceful. Ah, uh, that is true. I worry what happened. Uh, I I worry when happy things continue to happen. I'm not afraid of painful times because becoming more painful because of happy times, but of happy times ending and going back to normal. Feeling your depression at the end of a festival, for example. The happiest moment of life is the happiest, but it's also a flash. I subconsciously fear it. But it's okay to 
Okay. Soon it'll be the cultural festival. The happy times will continue. And after the festival will be winter break. And we can all travel during the break. And when we return, it'll be around New Year's Day. See, Nissan? If an important person is by your side, then happy times will continue. Akiha walks ahead with light steps. Yeah, you're definitely right, Akiha. Even my small worries are no match for Akiha. I have Akiha, Hisui, and Kohaku-san. I have a home to return to, so I have nothing to worry about. During lunch break, Akiya breaks off and happily goes to the freshman section. Uh, wait, don't skip. We still have a bit of time before homeroom. Then. Hmm. So this, this would be a different we're scene now. To go to the tea ceremony? Yeah. Because last time it was for lunch, but now it's morning. I wrote to the tea ceremony club room. Maybe Senpai came early and is drinking tea right now. Senpai, hi! What am I... An elementary school kid? <laughs> ah, I remember now. She said she'll be absent before and after school because of the cultural festival. I think she said something like that a few days ago. Mm. I forgot even that. Maybe I'm becoming too loose. Shake my head at my own acid-mindedness and leave the tea room. Homeroom starts. Class is lively like on a midsummer day and feels rather different from the usual study studious aura. Hmm, uh, now that I think about it, today is... Was it the sports festival? We just triggered here. <laughs> hmm? I tell my head in confusion. Now that I think about it, I remember preparing for a festival, but... Whoa! Let's quickly change and go to the field, Tono. You're the first one up for the 50-meter sprint. Eh? Right, it's the athletic festival. Hmm, so... Maybe... I, I, I mean, so... Now it's only the Athletic Festival, even though the day started the same, supposedly, so... I guess... I guess it's a dream, maybe? Wait. I mean, this game did begin with uh, Arcoid knocking him out, so... Yeah, I think he's in a coma. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, don't pretend to be an Alzheimer patient. Everyone's changing into their PE uniforms. Come on, we have to hurry or we'll be late for the opening ceremony. Arihiko takes off his pants and changes. Hey, wait, I'll change quickly too, so wait, but... Where did I put my uniform and my headband? Don't forget your name tag, either. Then I'll be going ahead. And he ener energetically disappears. Right, I can't forget my name tag, either. Hurriedly take my change of clothes out of the locker, prepare for the athletic festival. After the opening ceremony ends, everyone moves to the cheering stand of their respective classes. Due to our school's academic nature, there isn't too many, too much emphasis on the athletic festival. It's always the same competitions and the same routine, so it's quite lackluster compared to, well, uh, the well-developed cultural festival. As you meet your sprint com uh, competitors, please come to track number one. I repeat, 50 meter sprint competitors. Ah, it's no time to be thinking about other stuff. We go from my dumbfounded state and move to track number one. Ah, Tonokun. Oh no, no CL. 
Ah, Tonokun. Uh, before that, Senpai stops me. Yes, what is it, Sen? I turn around, my head goes even more blank. <laughs> it's a foul. Senpai in her P uni uniform exudes womanly fragrance far beyond the level of a, a mere beauty of a healthy woman. Senpai, that... Please don't take this the wrong way, but... Yes? Take it the wrong way? What do you mean? Senpai, it's too tight. Is that the right size? Yes, the size is correct. Is it that weird? She nervously looks at her uniform. Mm, well, this is a correct answer on its own, so I won't say more. No, it's definitely not weird, but what did you want before? <gasps> Alright, Tunnel-kun. It's the 50 meter... meter sprint, correct? Yes, I'm going to run a little. What, what is it? Then... what's the one after that? Huh, the next ones are high jumping and acrobatics. And then after lunch are the horse competition and the relay. Is that so? Then you're not doing anything during lunch, correct? Correct. If the high jump takes too long, it'll cut into the lunchtime, but probably drop out pretty early. That's good. Then I'll reserve it. I made some lunch for you today. I, I made some lunch for today, so will you eat together with me? Senpai looks at me intently as she asks. That's... Senpai, if you ask like that, what kind of man can say no? Of course I'll gladly eat with you. Blah. Excuse me. And keep in mind that you promised. See how Senpai waves as she moves her designated chairing to her designated chairing stand. I promised. I guess I'm eating lunch with Senpai. No, this isn't the time to be so lackadaisical. I have to hurry to the sprint or Ah. Uh, found you. Wait, Nissan. And this time Akia stops me. Ah, uh, really, what is it, Akiha? I'm busy right now. But even while saying that, I look back. No, this is... N Nissan? I know you're busy, but can I borrow you for a moment? Maybe she's embarrassed because of uniform, but she's as polite as a cat. This appeal is the opposite of CL Senpai's. Or the, studi or the studious uniform is fine, too. Or... Something. Mmm, this is. <coughs> Talk to you, little Nissan? Akia fiz fidgets as she looks this way. Now that is. No, everything up until now is a foul. A foul parade, actually. Yes, what is it? I'm busy, so keep it short, please. I'll say this as curtly as possible. Kohaku made lunch for two persons, so you don't have to go to the cafeteria during lunchtime. Ah, uh, okay, that's really like Kohaku-san. She doesn't miss a thing. True. She said she especially did her, her very best, so it'll be a good lunch today. Yeah, that I'll do my best so I can really... I can eat a really delicious lunch. Alright. I stir up some sprint, some spirit inside of me. Something is off, but Kohaku-san's lunch is really appreciated. And Nissan, I won't accept anything other than first place. When she leaves after making a comment typical of her. A little break. I remember both Senpai and Akia. And thank God for this kind of development. Yay, PE uniforms are nice. 
Well, why are you here? Who are you, sir? <laughs> I assume he's a teacher. <laughs> I came to visit as a relative. I've never seen Akia Sama in bloomers before, you see. The pig that Who appeared. Who are you, sir? <laughs> the pig that appeared suddenly smiles widely. One could say this that this person is a monster or doesn't know how to give up, or. In essence, he's a rare, really annoying person that goes by the name of Kukumine Tsunami. Oh, okay, the, they're talking about the Kukuminas earlier. So he, Wait, is that the one who she's supposed to marry? Either that or his father, I guess, but... I hope that's not the one who she has to marry, because, <laughs> ew, no offense. <laughs> From the name, one can tell that he's the head of the Kukumine household. Kugamine is the branch of the Tona family that has the most influence. The strength is economical, and so it has a saying about a third of the Tona family matters that like concern a corporation. With this and that reason, even the Tono household can't afford to mistreat the Kugamines, especially this pig. <laughs> no, Tonami-san was, up until just recently, Akiya's fiance. <laughs> right, well, that answers that. It's, oh no. <laughs> that is a creepy fiance or ex fiance. <laughs> yeah. He has many problematic habits, no personality traits. And while he was staying at the Tono house, he's said to have bothered Hisui quite a bit. Well, he seems to have changed into a pretty good person now, though. <laughs> if this is this okay, if Akia spots you, you'll be assassinated. <laughs> One cannot run a company if he resigns to such dangers. I will look at what I want to look at, but it's regrettable. If Akiya-sama and I were still engaged, then I could have had her change it to whatever I wanted to. Pig slowly examines all the girls at the cheering stands, especially the place where the skin and the bloomer meet. Oh, <laughs> then excuse me. I had to give orders to the film team. You you still didn't fix your voyeuristic habits. Haha. <laughs> if there's a best shot, I'll give you one too, Shikikun. And I give you wor uh, a word of advice from experience. If you try to catch two rabbits, then the two rabbits will surround you and beat you to death. <laughs> I don't think that's how that saying goes. <laughs> Sha! The pig disappears into the audience with a quickness that doesn't match his form. Ah, uh, I met another weirdo. Well, he's not as troublesome as he was before. After his engagement to Akio was dissolved, he seems to have calmed down a bit and even seems to have taken a liking to me, so I can't treat him harshly. That's that, but what's with the two rabbits? When I muttered that, the feeling of danger I got when I was talking to Akia just now returns. Eh? Why am I sweating cold sweat? And then in addition, my spine feels strangely chilly. My body shakes as if in preparation for upcoming danger. Am I too nervous? I try to lie to myself by laughing. I'll go to track number one then. Anyway, I'm amazed at how dense I am. This development was so easy to see, but why did I not think of it until just now? Goo -goo 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 -goo. Tenseness that shakes the ground. As if feeling the danger, the birds nearby the courtyard take to the sky. And even all the envious boys excuse themselves after declaring that they just remembered something they forgot. No. <laughs> I was wondering how that was going to play out. <laughs> As if battling with her eyes, it, the two of them look at each other for a good ten minutes without a word. Wait, by the way, I want to make a note, the, uh, the art has uh, improved quite a bit from the first game. They look less blobby now. Punching Sprite the most. Yeah. <laughs> the new punching one is great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> laugh like that with meaning behind her, their laughs. 
Really, this isn't good for the heart. But Senpai, what's with that? Oh no, I think that's Akiha. Hi. What's with that pathetic? What's with that pathetic parcel in your hand? Oh, Akiha-san, you've never seen a lunchbox. I thought that since it's been a while since he transferred, maybe you got used to a common lifestyle. Is that so? I'm embarrassed at my own shortcoming, but I heard that the lunchbox I'm holding also has the function of preservation. I cannot recognize curry on rice as lunch. Excuse me, please don't say anything before you look at the content. This lunch was prepared after much contemplation as, as to how to eat it with Tonokun. This lunch is different from yours, which was probably prepared by an outsider, or in an outsider in content and feeling like Kohaku-san. And Senpai adds to her attack with her expression. Akia grinds her teeth. Goo -goo 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 -goo. The tremors reach a new level of intensity. It would be a grand sight if there were a really big noise in the background and a picture of a tiger and a dragon would pop up. We're going through a lot, Senpai. Since you don't have much to show to Nissan, he can only offer him something that even dogs cannot eat. Yes, it is very regrettable. Such things cannot satisfy hunger. But even still, Nissan tried his best to force it down. Poor Nissan. <laughs> the same goes for you, Akiya-san. If Tonokun only had Kohaku-san's lunches, then he would have had a great time. Wait, what do you mean by that? Take it as I said it. A meal isn't delicious only because it's tasty. Snap, 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 snap. <laughs> Ooh, it really turned into a grand sight. A dragon before, but I guess Aki has a snake. It's it's a hydra, I guess. So. uh... Right, it's meaningless to keep on arguing with you, Senpai. We must have lunch with Nissan, so please move on to the top of a lap post and have your lunch there. You're not understanding, Akiya-san. I told you before, but I made the promise first. So how about you return to your mansion and have your lunch? I'll not say anything about it, so you can even eat Kohaku-san. Now, now, you needn't try so hard to imitate a human. What? <laughs> right. I thought we needed to clear everything out once, Ciao. Agreed. I've been easy on you because you were of Tonokun's family. But the first one I should have defeated was you, Tono Akiya-san. What? Then let's decide in the manner of a fight. And to make it fair, why don't we have a third party be the referent be the referee? No one expected. We think the same. Yes, the owner of the lunch that Nissan chooses will be the winner. Since not much of our skill is required in this battle, only Nissan's decision determines the result. The monster little sister shoots me a look full of meaning. What? But wait, this method is really unfair to me. Oh, 
how can that be? You just need to pick the lunch you like. And then we can start our lunch as usual and decide on this matter this matter between Senpai and me. I don't think there's a more fitting way to do this. I agree wholeheartedly. Two birds with one stone. Well, the only downside is that the loser will be blaming the judge and not the and not the competitor. And the monster glasses shoot me the same piercing look. It's decided. And Nissan, please make clear which one it is. Akia offers me her lunch. You can't say you... You can't say you can't decide, or that you want to eat both. If you spout such nonsense, there will be consequences. And Senpai offers me her lunch. <laughs> I think that's them. Well, well, step, well. Step, 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 step. <laughs> Hit the bench after retreating so many steps. There's no escape. In front of me are two devils whose tar target I suddenly became. Ha, ha. It's his dilemma. If it turns out like this, there's no safe choice Tono Shiki can make. Wah. I can't eat anymore. And I jump up from my bed. Breathing hard, I look around. This is my room. It's four in the morning. The tick-tock of the clock contrasts with the silence of the night. Dream? Yes, it was a dream. I don't really remember what the dream was, but it felt like a torturous dream where I was forcibly fed by two people with the... With with my hands tied behind my back. Even though I'm not that hungry, I plop my on my bed. Well, I'm still tired, so I'll just go back to sleep. But, please, I don't want another nightmare like that. I don't think we accomplished anything that time. But... <laughs> Horoscope. Here and there. Okay. <laughs> Alright, I think we need the, uh... That, the beginner tip. Let's see if this is the same dialogue. Yep, that's the same. Right, so... Beginner. Beginner court, then straight to the point. First step number one Go to the school's inner courtyard to get the black cat's point. It'll be a hidden point, causing you to fall asleep when you return to your room. Step two After you meet the black cat, go to the streets of the mansion at least once. Or go to school alone. Hmm. Then you will be able to experience the girl in the crowd. Step 3. Leave school around 5 o'clock, eat at the mansion, or eat out. Choose one, please. Another weird thing will happen, won't it? Finally, step four. If you go out into the streets in the afternoon after doing all of these, then it'll start to snow. And at night, you'll probably get choices you've never had before. Well, thank you for listening to my textbook reading. 
Hmm, it was so simple. I couldn't interfere now. Of course. When people sign up for the beginner's course... Then you can tell that they are really desperate. I can't let them... I can't let them hear you talk. When it will surely do nothing but anger them. <laughs> then everyone... Let's meet after you magnificently get through step one. Teach me, Arc Sensei. Foo foo foo. It's my chance. When Chiru is gone, I'll have my little corner. I have a feeling these, these Arc Sensei ones might just be random. Like, just random little tips for different scenes. <laughs> Wouldn't it be fun to maybe sleep the whole day in the mansion, yeah? <laughs> Staying in the room will be a common choice, I think, yeah? Check it out! <laughs> so, school courtyard. Go to school. Uh, I guess straight to school. Maybe I'll drop by the courtyard. Don't skip. I'll stop by the courtyard. It's a little time. The fresh air there will be refreshing. As expected, the air in the courtyard is fantastic. Most students go straight into the main building from the gate, so the inner courtyard is empty most of the time. Space of solitude. When I'm there, I can enjoy a moment of peace and watch the students go to school like a parent. While I'm thinking such unnecessary thoughts, something comes out of the grass nearby. Hmm? Cat. Hey, maybe you're thinking like me. Let's enjoy this together, then. Motion to the cat with my fingers. Well, we've got a similar outfit to the little girl, so I guess that is her. <laughs> As if disinterested, the black cat turns its head and curls up. Hmm, you're picky, aren't you? Well, I guess cats are like that. Begging and pleading from this end will only drive away the cat. So regrettably, I can't do anything. Well then, I'll just be patient. Sit on the bench and blankly stare at the clock. It's not good to force something. I should be happy that a cat who acts like a high-class lady is with me this morning in the inner courtyard. Any, uh, it's not good to force something. I should, yeah, okay. Uh, sorry, I lost my place. Looked away for a second. I should be punished for wanting anything more than that. The black cat seems disinterested, but still looks at me from this serene position on the road without any dislike. Hmm. Looking at the scene alone creates peace of mind. Hmm, you're from a classic family, eh? You have an aura of calmness and softness or something. Ooh, I want to pet it. I want to pet it, but I shouldn't. It wouldn't be good to ruin this moment of peace when we're, we're both enjoying. I want the cat on the road. I watch the cat on the road. The cat watches me on the bench. That's more than enough. Hmm. It's time already? The black cat seems surprised at the school bell. It looks at me at once disappears into the grass. Well, then I'll go back to my nest, too. I hurriedly stand up from the bench. My nest would be Class 2-3's classroom, full of my classmates. Home room starts. Class is lively like a midsummer day and feels rather different from the usual studious aura. Hmm? Ah, now that I think about it, today is uh, just another day. We go to the sports festival, that's a dead end. 
<coughs> I believe that's the same, so we'll skip that. Uh, I guess if we go to the courtyard again? Uh, or was there... Do we have to eat the cafeteria? That, that was the next step, right? I think so. Okay. I'll show you that I'm rich. Because <laughs> of the uh, saving money from earlier. <laughs> I've decided. I'll eat lavishly at the cafeteria. Eh? Really? Unbelievable. Don't tell me maybe even an egg on top of a yubu udon. Yubu udon. 250 yen. Egg, 50 yen. Or you go, you can't call that lavish. <coughs> the, then two persons worth? Stop, nothing good comes out of bluffing. Two persons plus 100 yen. Donkatsu rice and vegetable mix with soup. Donkatsu rice says 650 yen. Uh, are you serious, Tono? Buy me something with th buy me something with that money. Quiet, don't leech off me. Put down my head, sigh, and march the cafeteria like a robot. In the next, in the next news item, there's been a seventh landslide accident in the city of Exhun Sakai at seven in the morning. Thankfully, damage was minor. The surrounding area was cut off for an hour, but repairs started and. The TV show, Today's Morning News. Oh, by the way, uh, we never mentioned this to the viewers. I don't think this is ever actually mentioned in the games up to this point, but uh, apparently the name of the city this game takes place in is Misaki. <laughs> that was a pretty funny coincidence. Yeah, which is amazing. <laughs> yeah. School cafeteria plays the morning's news recorded by the principal, who insists that it teaches the students current events. Slurp, slurp. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. The one student who watches the news as he eats curry udon and eggs. Ooh, what a spineless wimp. It goes without saying that the lonely student is Tonoshiki. Damn it, what is this feeling of ultimate defeat? Even when I was fighting vampires, I didn't think I was this pathetic. Slurp, slurp, slurp. I feel so pathetic. Ah well, whatever. I didn't get swayed away by whims and save up money in case I needed it later on. Slurp, slurp, slurp. Ah, but they, even then, the curry udon here is spicy. Senpai says it's just right, but it's probably because Senpai's tongue got paralyzed after eating so much curry, and curry only. In our next story, X days ago, mysterious murders have started to happen, and today another victim was found. Near the construction and redevelopment site, what is believed to be human blood has been. The unpleasant news continue. Vampires are gone, but there are still mysterious deaths happening around town. Slurp, slurp, slurp. Sand after finishing the curry udon. The unpleasant news made my stomach queasy, so I couldn't drink the soup. I wondered if Senpai would throw a punch at me if I left the cafeteria. Don't skip. I walked the rowdy hallway. Lunch is almost over. Students in the hallway are chatting dangerously close to the start of fifth period. Walking down the hallway amidst the sound of laughter makes me loosen up a bit, too. Bright sunlight and peaceful scenery. At an atmosphere where I can easily greet anyone I know, friendly and simply. Day goes on without any major changes. How things are happy, or half happy, a little sad, and afterwards is boredom. The cycle continues without knowing an end. But I did once think that it was weird. That is, I see it every night and then forget. It's a dream too brutal to forget. Huh. 
what trivial thing am I thinking about? Hold on a second, got a spam bot. Saying that part, is that cheeky still? Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry. I just had to deal with the spam bot. What trivial thing am I thinking about? Okay. I heard up a dream trivial enough for me to forget into some terrible nightmare. Today, just like yesterday, is a happy day. I don't have to try my best to make it into a sad day. Well, that is, I can't even remember yesterday. Ugh. I feel nauseous and lean on a wall. My face meets the window so I can wash it the outside. The outside is as usual. The reflection is as usual. Without any changes, they watch the surroundings and I cannot immerse myself in them. Ding dong. Is it tinnitus? The bell rings far away. Ah, I know, this is the sound of a funeral bell. Ding dong. The crushing bell sound. With each ring, a part of the world collapses. Ding dong. Not here, but somewhere away from here is collapsing. Just like everything else, there's an end to the world. There's no such, there's, there's no such thing as a perpetual today. With realization, it collapses instantly. After an irreversible train ride to the far of the station, one grieves. Something like an unspeakable ridiculousness. Real ass station is the one before, but once this happens, there's nothing that can be done. As one stands still, the train rides to the last station. One station a day. Look, look everyone, can I... Indeed, get off at the station right before the last. Oh, I think this is, we did the scene already. Yeah. Um. We want to skip class to see the end of the world scene, right? Yeah. Okay. So skip. Uh, our room's over. Maybe the day is longer now, but the sun doesn't seem like it's going to wane. It still feels like day. Makes me feel like I want to go back. Uh, shoot. What, what was next? Going straight home would. Oh, what was that? Do we have to wander yet? Or not yet? Um, I think we actually had options for that. Like, we could stay late or... Go straight home? Um, you know what? Now would be a good time to put a save down, I guess. Alright, let's try going sh straight home. But before that, I'm going back, but how? Go home alone. Yes, that's what we want. Yep. Hmm, <laughs> for no real reason. I want to see Hisui or Kohaku-san. I'll go home right away. A little after the intersection, I meet Arahiko. Oh, not going anywhere today, Tono? Nah, what about you? Are you going to the train station now? Yeah, I have to shop for groceries. There's a cheap place over there. Since Arihiko's family consists only of him and his sister, Arihiko is in charge of grocery shopping. It's a system that forces Arihiko to carefully ration a month's worth of money. A very educational system overall. Oh, we'll have oh we'll have fun then. Right. Oh, I did tell you that someone like you was roaming the streets a while ago, right? That was a year ago. Shiki and Roa's doing. Oh, is this a year after? Huh. 
Hmm, I don't think so. It's the first time hearing something like that from you. Eh? Well, it's nothing. The sister said that she saw someone like Arima yesterday night. She said that it looked like you when you were young. Hmm. Chico's son is still not eternal, it seems. Just like you said. <laughs> it's the Inui blood that makes us nocturnal. He laughs heartily, then parts way with me. I go uphill. I feel completely exhausted. Maybe because there's no one nearby. Feels like the time I spent at school today belongs to someone else. I despair as I consider the possibility that a normal day might be possibly out of reach. Oh, yeah, I've seen, I did the scene earlier. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, um... <sighs> hmm. I don't think we had directions for what to do. Right? Hey, what? He's supposed to stay on his own, right? I, I guess so. Hmm. Stay in my room. Hmm. I'll pop on my bed. I relax much more now that I'm in my own room. Hmm, strange. I'm feeling unusually well, but... Every joint aches. Feels like my reaction speed has gone down. Well, I guess it's okay, since it's not anemia or anything. But still, I'm tired. It's still a few hours before dinner, so I'll just relax in my room. Knock, knock. Knock, knock. Knock, knock. A soft knock. Shiki-kun, are you asleep? The slightly familiar female voice continues. Oh, that's too bad. I thought maybe I'd see you today. The voice can't be... We only exchanged some greetings. A slightly older woman who I respected even in my younger years. Above all, the... The ring that the name... Tokie had, has suits her. I think back to the time... When she became special to me, and that made me realize I'd forgotten. Wait, who's breaking into his room? Tokie san? Jump out of my bed. But wait a moment, please. I, I guess this is a new character. I'm opening the door. I hardly open the door. Knock, knock. The door opens. Yeah, who is this? <laughs> Hello, cheeky coon. Excuse me for a moment, please. Ah, come in, please. Please don't be disappointed that the room is bare. Hmm? I thought it was going to be a fantastic room, but it's at least as clean as our hospital. Okay, I guess she worked at the hospital that he was saying that. Toki san spins around once to look at the room and then sits down on the bed. Is today special? Since you're here, is my old 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 doctor here too? No, father's not <clears> here. <throat> I'm here as a substitute to do a regular checkup on Akiya-san. Ah, is that so? Is the old doctor retiring soon? Huh? That would be nice, but father is really a man of steel. Huh, no change, eh? I was hoping he would act his age and calm down a bit, but I guess that's hoping a little too much. Huh, Tokie san has lots to overcome. You have such a strong person as a father. Yes, it really is too much. I really want to trade him with someone else. Kuaku san comes to mind. I mean, Kuaku chan comes to mind. But I can't take her as a groom. As she's a girl. She sighs seriously. 
All her ex-boyfriends are said to have gotten beaten up by her father, so she's always single. Is there anyone, isn't there anyone as patient as you, or are you the weird one? Get along well with my father, and, oh wait. Yeah, that, yeah it's her line. <laughs> Is there anyone as patient as you, or are you the weird one? You get along with, well with my father, and father likes you too. <laughs> Every time I see him, he does acupuncture or bone aligning on me. I didn't know it was a sign of affection. Wow, he even did that? Alright, so why don't you just become my husband? <laughs> I avert my gaze from Toki-san while coughing. Toki-san, please refrain from such jokes. I don't know under whose, surve whose surveillance I am. Oh? I don't think there's anyone here. I thought maybe once was okay. Wait, what? <laughs> I feel my face becoming red. Toki-san chuckles. Mm, maybe I'm being a bother. I'll be heading back now. Uh, I'll see you to the door. It's okay. Kuaku-chan is, is waiting in the lobby. Ah, uh, that's right. My father asks you to drop by soon. It won't do if you skimp out on the checks because you feel okay now. She waves and leaves. I was really surprised. Tokiya-san attends a university in the city. Maybe she's returned. It's been two years since we last met, which was when she went off to college. She's as free spirit as, as ever and still does things in a strangely elegant way. And her tendency to go along with the flow too well hasn't changed either. I should go see the doctor soon, I suppose. And then dinner comes. In the large dining hall, the only ones sitting are Akia and I. Isui and Kohaku-san are wordlessly standing by in the back. The night mood and luxurious dinner mentally forces me to marry my manners. Neither Akia nor I talk to each other and silently eat. And as usual, this keeps until the end, and so we part at the dinner table without a word. <coughs> the usual tea time. Today we're playing sevens with cards Kohaku-san brought. In sevens, the four sevens are laid out and the player has added adjacent higher and lower cards to them. Akia, who had the seven of hearts, starts and the game lastly begins. Nissan, what did you do yesterday? <laughs> Akia asks suddenly as she puts down the Queen of Spades. Yesterday? Ah, that's... I put down the Queen of Clubs. shiki san Yesterday we played games in my room together, didn't we? I thought that was a secret. <laughs> she lays down the Three of Clubs on one side. Is that so? Then you must have gone to Nessan's room after cleaning the fish in, in the kitchen. I don't remember doing that. And then he so he puts down the king of clubs on the opposite side. Hold on, and I went to Kohaku's room after talking with me in my room. This time the four of spades. Akia seems to insist on spades. Ah, uh, that's. I don't remember, but I can't say that. I declare to pass the turn. The first time, too. <coughs> Impossible duty time. Akiya-sama, aren't you remembering something incorrectly? Kohaku-san passes as well. The first time. 
No, I think Akiya-sama's correct. I seem to vaguely remember Shiki-sama going to Akiya-sama's room after talking with me. He slowly lays down the ace of clubs. Ooh, now the clubs are all here. Anyway, seems like you're busy, Nissan. Akiya nervously declares a pass for a third time. I told you I was free in the morning. <laughs> I have to pass too. Second time. So, I saw you playing with the black cat in the inner courtyard. How did she, what was she doing at the school? Kokosan passes as well. Second time, just like me. But her pass is not meant as a retreat, but to put her prey in a trap. Ah, oh, I see. I didn't see you, so I thought maybe you had gone out. And he silly lays the two of clubs on top. She and Gohaku-san seem to be synchronized, as all the clubs seem to come from their hands. Hold on, Hitsui. Don't you have anything other than clubs? For example, a diamond. That has never appeared yet. I'm sorry, Akiya-sama. I was told by Nesan to hold the diamonds. Wahaku, he wanted to play fair today. What signs have you been making to Isui? Aren't you scheming too much for something as trivial as an after-dinner card game? Oh, she sounds really angry. Even her ladylike words are gone. No, Akiya-sama. I didn't make any signs. Kisui was despairing after looking at her hands, so I gave her some advice. Wordlessly motioning with your fingers and eyes cannot count as advice. Wait, uh, who's talking? Mm, that's a definite sign, although I noticed it pretty quickly. Eh? You must have been staring only at your cards. Oh, no, oh, this is Cheeky's line. You must have only been staring at your cards. The two were planning on putting you and me in a tough position. But since they were so blatant about it, I found out pretty quickly. Plan to let me go to ruin while you're saving yourself, Nissan. Yeah, and additionally, the one blocking the eight of diamonds is me. <laughs> ah, Hiyasama, what are you doing? Upsetting the table like that is dangerous. Did she table flip? <laughs> Yes. The nearly completed clubs are now all scattered. I'm on a, about at a loss for words. Don't go riding on an electric cruise liner. If the casino inside goes bankrupt, the owner might blow up the whole ship on purpose. Everyone stares at Akiha. It would be cute if she apologized even a little bit, but she just hmphs <laughs> and... event, I was standing up and my skirt got caught. <laughs> she says that. Wait, wait. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous, is your shirt made of metal? Yes, of course. The head of the tonal household must use the strongest equipment to protect yourself. <laughs> <laughs> she spits out such an unbelievable reply. Additionally, to be exact, it is use the highest quality ornaments to decorate herself. Okay, understood. Let's call it a night. If we were to play to the end, some people would be hospitalized. I 
if it were if it were the end, I would not have fallen for Kohaku's schemes. I would have been at the top, leaving Nisa and the rest without any money. She turns her head as she sits down. Kohaku-san and Hisui expertly pick up the cards as if they're used to it by now. And so my long day ends. I dumbly stare at the ceiling from my bed. Can't fight off the tardiness as I lie down. Before, all right, this. Um. Hmm. I guess something that I'm forgetting. I remember something forgotten. So if I could think of it, why would I be going through all this trouble? Furthermore, did I even go through this, the trouble? Well, I didn't forget anything important. Maybe it's not something I should worry about. I mutter as I lie. The thing I'm forgetting is yesterday. I've went through a few thousand days up until now, so one day isn't that big of a deal. A cat. Just now, a black cat passed by the window. Eh? It's the second floor. I don't remember a balcony that a cat could climb on. Eh, well, whatever. Fatigue suddenly overwhelms me. I shouldn't worry about such small things and go to sleep. Hmm. I guess we did something wrong? I go without saying. Let's review the thing again. Go to the schools in our courtyard. Go to the streets from the mansion at least once, or go to school alone. Uh, the streets in the mansion at least once with Akia. But that's after me and the black cat, so we have to get ah. to school first. I don't, I don't. Oh, we did do. We did see the experience of girl in the crowd. So we did that right. Leave the school around five o'clock. Eat at the mansion or eat out. Okay, we didn't do any of that. That's where we messed up. Alright, so I guess we want to stay late at school. Arc Sensei. Oh, that's the same one as last time. Yeah, it is. All right. So, skip. Go to school. Skip. Uh, straight to school, I guess. Go to school alone. On my way to school, the girl in the crowd. Okay. Wait. Uh, yeah. Skip. Skip. Courtyard. Skip. Skip. Just another day. Skip. Uh. Be peaceful in the courtyard. That's the eating out. Don't skip. It'd be nice to eat lunch in the courtyard sometimes. I've decided I'll enjoy the sun as I eat today. Ooh, you're quite healthy. Then let me join you. 
is what I want to say, but I don't like waiting the waning sunlight. Unfortunately, it's goodbye for now, Tono. That's what I wanted. I wanted to eat my lunch quietly today. Is that so? Don't get your lunch stolen by the black cat then suppose, that supposedly hangs out in the courtyard. Arihiko cleanly backs off as he has something else to do. I go to the courtyard. The sunlight is adequately warm and the wind is nice too. It's the perfect weather for a picnic. With this kind of weather, the courtyard must be full. Eh? But why is there no one here? For some reason, I get angry. It's nice that I can exploit this weather for myself, but... It'd still be a waste to spend the day in class. Well, whatever. I'll just lie on the grass. I say to myself as I climb over the fence. The smell of sunlight rises from the grass. It'd be nice to take a nap just like that. Hmm? shadow of a cat in the grass. Ah, it's really here. Arihiko and the rumor were right. But we saw the cat earlier. We made that choice. <laughs> the black cat sniffed the grass and approached with an attitude that seemed to say, I'm not at all interested in you. Yeah, I met you last time too, didn't I? Okay, so he does... My disease of not being able to remember yesterday is affecting me at a time like this. But I'm sure. It feels as if I've spent time with a black cat on a nice day like this. Yeah, whatever it may be, do you want some bread? I'll tear my sandwich and throw it at the black cat. Wow, it didn't even look. Oh, you seem like you seem like you come from a high class family. But I'll try some ham next time. Oh, a small reaction this time. But it still doesn't approach. Its pride must be huge. Alright, next one will be a sure one. Salmon studded ham. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. One by one, salmon studded ham surrounds the black cat. The black cat turns its back on the ham. But still, more ham. Then I'll change my trajectory and ham. Ham, 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 ham. <laughs> and it fainted. After turning round and round, the black cat fainted on the grass. Maybe you really don't like it. I tried to talk to it softly. The black cat flinched and right when it moved its ear. With a swish, it went into the grass field. All I did was cause it to hate me? Complaining about my sandwich. Ugh, it turned into just, into just bread. I'm an idiot. I threw all the ingredients away. I deserve this result. I won the match, but I guess I lost the competition. Hmm, I'll bring some canned cat food next time. Well... As if I can remember tomorrow what I did today. Um, I think this is a repeat, but let me just check. Walk the Roddy Hallway. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, that's all. Repeat. Uh, before fifth period? Oh, yep. Okay, um... Uh, I guess we'll skip class again. Skip. Skip. Stay in the classroom. I really don't need to hurry. I can enjoy the sun for a while. Oh, yeah, yeah, this is a repeat. Yeah, okay. Uh, go uphill, so exhausted.
Are we do I feel like we did something wrong. That uh, Hmm. To look at the confusing flow chart. <laughs> I might have to. <laughs> right, oh, no, not that page. Not, okay. Bonus right, flow chart. Uh god, I don't even know where to start with this thing. Uh. Hmm. All right, so a day. Uh. Got to. It's gonna take forever just to decipher this thing. It, it, it's too much. I I can't. <laughs> I have to look up a text guide or something. But, uh, let's... Stay in my room. Here it comes, our Chang Hall. We did that already. Skip. Skip. Yeah, now it's the same stuff again. Hmm. The serial murders that continue in the streets even now. Murders that repeat themselves many times. I can't pass this off as something unrelated to me. It's a vampire that causes all those horrible murders back then. I was related to the vampire, so I can't ignore these serial murders happening on the street. I get out of my bed and change them to my clothes. Is this another vampire incident? After the incident, all the undead were taken care of by a CL senpai. But maybe it wasn't complete since she's still roaming the streets. Well, the killer might be a vampire too. The street is dead silent. The moment I stepped outside of the mansion, I can't feel anyone's presence. I murmur that it's unusually quiet, but even that murmur doesn't get heard. Even my breath disappears into the night, making me wonder if air is actually coming into my lungs. It's that sort of a night. Everything is stopped. An illusion like watching a third-rate movie. A movie whose title no one knows. A movie screen that no one is watching. The film rolls spinning without anyone showing despair. It spins without meaning. The deserted town on, on the screen. It's gray. In the gray, the only person walking down the road is me. Even in this cave, the rule of silence isn't broken. Even this road that brought about so many fatal memories cannot break the solitude. But I don't regret it. Rules, like the rules of the night, are absolute. Gritting my teeth, I endure through the scene. In the alleyway were mere corpse or many corpses scattered about. Glancing at them, about three persons worth. The feet and hands that cut up bodies. They were almost beautifully cut. I take out my knife. When I look up from the field of the parts. Oh. A revived vampire stood before my eyes. As if we were reflections in a mirror, we charged at each other at the same time. 
clang. The knives meet and we both grapple to the ground. Roll, 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 roll. I roll and roll. I roll holding this person who looks like me. Roll, 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 roll. Vomit comes up. I can't tell up from down after so much rolling. Roll, 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 roll. It's all becoming mysterious. Am I on the bottom or on top? Who am I holding? Who's holding me? Which side am I on? Am, am I me? Roll, roll, roll. Bam. So mingled, we both stop, and the one on top wins. The knife penetrates the heart of the one on the bottom. So it ends. Under the moon, the person gets up and wipes the mud off his face. The shadow cast on the wall is definitely mine. So I restrain the vampire in the alleyway and decide to sleep. One who lives and one who dies in the alleyway. Well, it doesn't really matter which one's tone was shaky. Hmm. Mushroom sword skill. Lower body sword. Vegetable man sword. Many techniques are mingling with each other. <laughs> uh, so you have to you have to what go soon, that? right? Yeah, I have no idea what that was. <laughs> yeah. All right, so uh, I guess we'll call it there for today. I'll see if I can find some sort of guide to help us a little along the way there. Otherwise, we'll just brute force it and look for choices we haven't made yet. So uh, no stream tomorrow. Uh, we'll be back next week, same time. Um, also, what else was going on? Uh, Fake Raid Order's next event starts on Monday, so I'll be covering that. Um, I'm going to try to get at least one stream of Pokemon in next week, but I'm also going to be busy playing Senran Kagura 2 on the channel. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I'll uh, see you guys then. Thanks for watching.